So, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I went to my P.O. box and I picked up, first of all, don't look at this because this is like months of buying things. This is not new. Well, some of it is new. But I went to my P.O. box and I picked up some stuff. So, I'm going to try on some of these pieces and then some of them I'm just going to show you. I have been asked about this particular kimono several times and I got this from Zara. It's super cute. I've already worn it. Not out the house though. Not out the house. I did it for a photo shoot for Instagram. But I'm really excited to wear it out. Because I think it's just really beautiful. The color overall. So I don't have the other pan. But I grabbed these. And also a navy blue to style with it. Because they had the blue, the golds. They even have a little bit of red, so you can pretty much wear it with anything. So this is also from Zara. Um, if this is still available, because I just bought this one recently when I went to New York, I will link it. Oh, the tag is gone. Um, another place where I've been getting some really cute pieces recently is J Lux. They have some really gorgeous stuff, you guys. So this dress here is from J Lux. I'm going to try one of these on, okay? Just so y'all can see it. This dress here is from um, Zara. I'm going to link right here with, look, like when I put it on. And then this one here is also from J Lux. I'll try this one on. This is the dress from J Lux. I really like the dress, y'all. So this is the bust area. You guys, I really like this dress. On my tippy toes, I like to see what it looks like with heels on. I actually had these out last night, so I'm just going to put them back on. Just because, again, I like to see what it's going to look like once it's like on. And like, yeah, I like this, y'all. I like this. Since I have this fitted dress on, I'm going to show you guys this. So this is also from Zara. I went into the store. They didn't have my size, but they had it online. And Zara was nice enough. Let me just say now, I really do love the ball main blazer. Okay, I think it's just the most well-structured blazer ever. But <laughs> my money ain't for the bad one, okay? So the next option is like Express and um, Zara, honestly, in, in terms of price point, there's other companies that sell blazers for like 400 500 But again, considering the price point, like this was it so when I saw this green one I was like yes you're not gonna really get the full look of the blazer because I'm not really like styling it any kind of way but the medium looked as if it was just kind of swimming on me and I can still button this but this would be really cute even I did like a pencil skirt my plan is to wear like jeans and a white top totaling out I have four so I have this one here I have this one here which I got in New York I have not been able to find this um, in Atlanta or um, online and I looked and I kept looking I can't find it this is has a very like relaxed feel to it and then again like I said this one I have it in the camel and I have it in black I'm not seeing the black here which means it's somewhere else Anyway, you get the idea. So a lot of you have been asking me about tops. Um, Lulu's, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below. Even if these tops aren't available, I'll still leave the website so you guys can go on there and search and look so you can find. I literally sit on the computer for about two hours just kind of scrolling, finding things that catch my eye, finding things that I can restyle a few times, whether it's with a pair of jeans or shirt, whatever before I place my order because I just don't want to buy like a whole bunch of stuff. So I have been going on to Lulu's to find just really cute little cutout tops. This one here is like an open back. I'm going to try this one on so you guys can see it because me holding it does it absolutely zero justice because it's such a gorgeous top. But a lot of these little cute little cutouts and there's another website I think it's called Line by K. Their stuff is a little bit more, but it's still super cute stuff, okay? This cute little top, it is an open back. I actually have two of these. So I have an open back purple, I have the pink, and then I have a black. It's different, but it's the same premise, you know? And I have three of these. I realized 
I was wearing this so much and it's just like a really cute and easy little top so it wraps here and then it wraps around the waist and I realized I was wearing it so much that I went on to Zara shamelessly and I ordered two more so I actually have a total of three of these tops and trust me I've worn all three because they're just that comfy and cute so you guys this is the top it's not strapped because I wasn't able to get the top but at least you kind of get an idea. I think the biggest thing is when I do these type of hauls and I'm not really 100% drying things on and my hair isn't done, you guys really can't get the full look of the outfits. So you kind of like 50-50 on it. But I'm going to tell you, if you're even 50 on it, just get it. Because by the time I style it and I put it on Instagram, it's gone. Like it's super hella gone. But... For the, for the shirt, I think it was in the 26, 27. It could be a little bit more, I don't know. Because I bought, I bought at least seven tops. You know what I'm saying? So, don't, don't, don't listen to me. I could be wrong. But, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Like, I think it's just like, super cute. I really love it. It's just like a cute little situation. And again, I want to say it was like 20 something or $30 I still think it was worth it just like overall and again it's not strapped I'm definitely gonna have to get someone to strap me when I wear it but just just to have the tag is here the overall look of it and everything like I really do love the top most of the tops that I get from Lulu's um, most of the tops that I wear, they're from Lulu, Zara, um, like Forever 21. So I do a, a quick little, a decent mixture. And then I'm going to have an express top too. So this top is also from Zara. What I love about it is the open back. So these jeans I actually got from Nordstrom Rack a few years ago. I haven't been able to find it. I'm going to look at the name. If I find it again, I will link it for you guys. But I've owned it for several years now. I just take really good care of it. Um, the other items, I'm not even going to try to try them on because I tried them on in the store. So I'll just do like an overlay that way you guys can see that shopping experience inside of Zara. While I was in the dressing room, I tried on all the tops. Everything in the video I purchased, they're all here. But this top... I actually found it as I was leaving the dressing room the lady had it in her hand and I was like excuse me is that for someone she was like no I'm like can I get it is it a small she was like yes I automatically saw the open back and I just wanted it it was actually a return um I don't think they had them in the store so definitely when I leave the link if you're interested grab it okay but I love just the asymmetrical cut on it I love the open back detail on it it's super cute really simple and if you put a blazer over it, you can really turn this into like business. And then when you go out with your girlfriends, party, okay? Like a mullet. <laughs> it's a friendly mullet, okay? So as I'm changing into the next outfit, I'll go ahead and do a quick overlay. Like I said, I was in Atlanta and I went into Zara, grabbed a few things. So I tried on the tops and you guys, everything fit me so well. And I think the price point for everything also was pretty decent. So I did get all the tops. I did purchase the dress and yeah. This is the black dress that I tried on. I did purchase it. Very happy with it. Um, this is the other dress. Again, purchased it. Very happy with it. It has a really good lining. It's not, the material does not feel cheap whatsoever. I am going to hang everything up to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. But I did get it, like I said. And then the brown top that I tried on, I also got it. I actually had to order it online um, for some particular reason. There uh, touch list thing wasn't working or my phone wasn't working and I wasn't able to make my order in the store so I got home and I placed the order this was just a couple days ago so I know everything is still very much available they did not have these jeans in the store so I did order these online I had to get some alterations done to it I think I'm gonna leave the length overall but the waist is always something that I you know struggle with a little bit so I am gonna have them take that in so it's just fitted 
Like, see, I think this is cute, y'all. Like, put me on some heels, some four-inch heels, so my, my jeans aren't dragging like they are right now. And just like, you see that Kuna ganging? It's cute, right? I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Even if I tie my hair or whatever, I think overall it's cute. This is what I would consider to be like a um how to look expensive because the blazer, yes, is $159. But this I think was like 20. And for sure these jeans are like 50. So basically the whole outfit was like under $300. And the really great thing is I can wear these jeans and style them with another top. I can wear the top with something else. So for me, it was worth the buy. Really simple, really cute. That's that, you guys, okay? Alright, so COVID has definitely changed the whole designing experience, in my personal opinion. Um, I know my clients are frustrated, and honestly, a lot of the situation is really out of my hand. I can't uh, project time. I can't project mistakes that happen. So the situation with my sofa is the back was messed up. You could see the framing on the back. So it took like six months. When it finally came, I wasn't happy with it. It took like a month for them to pick it up. So they basically had my sofa for about two months. And I got it back. They fixed the nail problem, but they didn't fix the framing problem. And so right now, they're trying to see, which normally they never do this. They're trying to see if they can let me keep the sofa and give me back my money or keep the sofa and give me half of my money or come get the sofa and I place another order for a whole different sofa. I really do love my sofa. I know everybody isn't fan the Chanel back sofa, but I really like it. I just feel like it's a bit more modern than something that I would normally go for. And the other sofas, they just seem like too traditional. And I just don't want to go through the whole process again. So what I'm really hoping, um, if push comes to shove, is that they let me keep the sofa and give me half of my money back. Because I would take that half of that money and just do a console table and like two small ottomans and put it behind there and call it a day. And act like the thing ain't even there. It's not fair. I shouldn't have to do that. But again, I can't complain because if they're giving me back my money, then it kind of fixes the problem. So I'm about to show you guys the light in the sofa. All right, you guys, it is pretty late. Not pretty late, it's like six o'clock, so it's getting a little bit dark outside. But I just wanna show you really quickly. So this is the current state of my living room. For those of you guys that have been here long enough, the design plan, you kinda know it. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, so essentially, these swivels go in my office are not going to stay here but i will be doing short swivels here not to block the window and of course the view and then on this side here i'm doing two stationary chairs higher back a little bigger so as of now this is the look right but if you look behind my sofa you can see the two lines back here which i don't know if they were supposed to take it apart and push the framing further in that way you don't see it or if some sort of extra added cushion, whatever it's supposed to do. I don't know what they're supposed to do with it to make this not come out. I've seen this particular sofa in a showroom. Now it's discontinued, so they're no longer making it. But I've definitely seen this sofa in the showroom, and it did not look like this. So I'm actually really disappointed. But again, Christmas is coming up. I don't want to be without a sofa. So if they were to give me at least half of my money back, I would just do a console table that would fit that and I would just put something behind it and just act like this thing ain't even here and just ignore it and it is what it is. And maybe three, four years on the line, I'll get a new sofa and that would be fine with me. Let me just say that my experience overall just trying to get things done in the house has been extremely frustrating. There's still some things that aren't done that I'm waiting on, but I was just like, you know what, let me just wait. Let me just wait because people are charging a lot of money um, in the work, in the overall craftsmanship just sucks, you know. Um, I had no issues with my office coming together. I had no issues with the flooring coming together. I had no issues with my drapery. I had no issue with the bench. 
the window seat for those of you guys um um and i've had no issue with uh, electric but in terms of ordering accessories furniture just decor has been quite difficult and i'm not going to name any company in particular because i don't think it's necessarily their fault i do feel like right now majority of most companies are still kind of dealing with the COVID blues. Unfortunately, that's just what it is. You guys know I've been purchasing Bernhardt for a very, very long time. And so I'm, I'm trying my best right now to give the company the benefit of the doubt. But I've also had an issue with Vanguard. Um, I've also had an issue with a company that makes custom furniture. They had a whole thing on their Instagram discussing how they wanted people to be patient da, 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 da. but then for me i'm like you took the job is on so now if it's like three months behind it's not necessarily my fault or my clients for it to have to wait another three months to get something that you already gave a date on because you took more jobs on like you get what i'm saying so you're kind of stuck because for some people this is the busiest that their company has been especially on the home front of things sherwin williams was out of paint the chicken stall was without chicken. Where did we go? Matter of fact, Fash came here. We went to this store uh, here in um, Savannah. And they sell lobster rolls. And so Fash was like, girl, you know, I want my lobster roll. But I'm like, let's go. She came out looking so sick to herself. I'm like, what happened? She was like, girl, they ain't got no bread. I was like, what? She was like, they don't have no bread. They were like, they could put it on something else. And I'm like, what? I do genuinely feel like just a lot of companies are doing the COVID blues. So I don't want to deter you from purchasing Bernhardt or any other company. I'm just going to tell you to have a lot of patience because that's exactly what you're going to need. Because I even had a client who something was broken and had to go back. I had a client who waited forever for a bed. I have a client that's been waiting a year for a, um, for a, a armoire. And that is from, uh, I'm not even going to mention the company, but it's, be, it's, been, it's been a hassle. And the only person who can attest to this is my assistant. And he even said, girl, I, I didn't know this was all, I'm like, this is not normally how it's supposed to go. But this is just what is currently at hand. But anyway, on to better things. Okay. Right now, this is the light fixture that I am looking to go into the office my electrician will be here tomorrow and he's going to install it and he's going to take the other one down before you guys say anything i already gifted the light fixture in my office to someone they had asked for it and um when they came to my house they were like oh gosh it's such a nice light and i was like you want it <laughs> like yeah i'm like okay cool so i'm gonna save this box and save everything so i can send that off but the light is really really beautiful let me see if I can do this real quick because how this situates is this goes like so. I'm going to let my electrician do what he do because I couldn't figure it out to get it in. But basically this is how the light fixture goes. And then it has the candelabras that goes in here. So it's a very beautiful light. I'm excited because um, this is from Keshler which is exactly what my sconce light is which i'm gonna be so in love with it so i'll give you guys an update of what my office is looking like i also got the sconce light for the bathroom downstairs i have started that whole situation so i'm getting things slowly but surely so this is really beautiful i love it i think it's just a really beautiful light and so what i'm thinking about doing it depends. When my electrician comes, I may change this out. And when I say change it out, I may take this one and just put it in the office because it matches this light. But this is supposed to go into the bathroom. So basically, this is what this guy is going to look like. You guys, it's such a pretty light. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love it. It speaks to my heart. So depending on how it looks when my electrician comes is going to be dependent on if i go ahead and just add this into the bathroom or if i put it into my office to match and then take the one in my office and put it into the bathroom so that way the bathroom can have 
um, the two sconce lights instead of having the overhead light. I just think it's going to just kind of elevate the whole look. Like I said, I do want to eventually have the bathroom done downstairs. But again, these are from Keshler. I will be leaving these linked down below that way you guys can see it. Again, such a beautiful light. I love the finish of it. Whole nine yards and stuff. And again, a quick little overview of the house. See, you really can't see the back of the sofa here, which is why I'm like, okay, I'll do a console table just to kind of fix it. It's when you walk up on it, and it may not seem like a big deal now, but like, you know, if I want to take a picture or do something, I just don't want to deal with that being right there. So, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, you guys have a really great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.